And as you mentioned earlier, Samantha's forehand is so dominant. So just picking on her backhand more, especially with that side glass wall. Well, you can see it there. Absolutely ripped it. Very strong. Oh, a firecracker. She just explodes on that forehand side. I actually had an opportunity to play with Samantha at the World Championships in the morning before the tournament. We played doubles together and you know, friendly doubles, not so much. She took it as seriously she said, as she'd take this that? one. Friendly doubles, what's that? <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad she was on my team. You know what, it's neat to see these these players come on the court and their court persona is just like, like fiery for Samantha and then off the court she's one of the sweetest, nicest, calmest people. <laughs> oh wow, Rasich just got a racket on it. It was a great serve. A little flick. Clearly has some support in the crowd. And then there's that those that crowd favorite. Rhonda has, uh, has so many fans here at the US Open. Well, and fans like an upset too. That, and I, you know, on paper, Samantha is the favorite in this match. Yes. Soft hands from Salas. Four serving five. Find her way back into this second game. She was down 4 1 when she took her time out. <laughs> Replay hinder call. for that overhead and just came up short. Tied up at 5-5 five, five here in game two. Short serve. Smith is still going down that, that drive serve down that right side line. in the back court through the legs. Then a nice little touch on the front court. Timeout from the American. It's five serving five. Players will take a break. We'll be back in 45 seconds. We are back in live at the United Healthcare US Open. 
Back in after a timeout in game two. Between Ronda Rajic and Samantha Salas has been a close game so far. And again, look at how Samantha ran around to hit that forehand rather than take it on her backhand. You can see why, but it's sometimes an all or nothing. She takes some extra energy to move those extra steps to get to her forehand sometimes. She bounces, late call, but the correct one. Tough serve by Salas. Really going for it. You can hear it. Seven serving five. She's down four one. That's a great cross court. I think she's going to appeal short serve, Salas. One agrees, one disagrees. Call stands. I think Rhonda was not clear why the appeal happened. Seven. Behind Find the back, back shot, but Rhonda, she actually had a great ceiling ball. What a rally. Oh, not that time, Rasic. Great athleticism to stay in it. Salas, too good on the forehand side. That was a great rally. I, I, I almost wondered what Rhonda was going to do if she lost that rally because she obviously held up when Samantha was in the in the way on that straight end. I do like how aggressive she was taking that ball out of the air. It has to be done right, but when it's done, it finishes the point. Seven serving six. LPRT is playing games to 11, best out of five. You had to win by two points each game. You also may notice that the LPRT is playing with the Pro Pen Pink Ball this season. We just launched that at our first event in Mexico to kick off 2018-2019 season. I like it. It's very easy to see, especially as it crosses some darker patches on the glass. It really helps for viewing, especially as you can see our glass on the left. You've got a lot of people back there wearing dark clothing. A darker ball gets lost, and this pink one really stands out. Yeah, and I understand. I mean, the ladies haven't had much time on the main glass court yet this weekend. But as we move over to there for to that court for our semifinals, you'll, you'll notice that the, that pink ball really stands out on that glass court, that dark glass court. 
So many more matches to come, of course. This is only the second quarterfinal at the U.S. Open. Two more coming up. Yeah, our first quarterfinal match. Gabby Martinez won in four games over Alexander Herrera. serving. There you go. That time oh. Salas had it, but she jumped, leaning back, pushed it into the floor. 6-9. So next up, our next quarterfinal match on this court, we've got number two ranked player on tour, Frederic Lambert. And she will take on our upsetter of the event so far, Yasmin Saba from Cochabamba, Bolivia. If you're not familiar with her, she's been on the international scene, particularly this year, rounded out the world championships as a champion in doubles. Incredible. Uh, just to show up in April Pan Am Championships come to the World Championships, and now you're a world champion. Right, we've only seen her on tour now. Uh, she was, she she showed up in San Antonio last season. Um, apparently, I, I wasn't familiar with her, but apparently she was a junior player, had success as a junior, then started a family, and now she's coming back is, and, and having a lot of success. She took out top player Carla Munoz, then Jenny Navia, and now she's here in the quarterfinals this weekend. Players have a little break here, so we'll take a, a break as well. We'll be back live at the U.S. Open. All right, we're back in. Timeout called here in game number two. We're back in. Ronda Rajic serving 8-9 to Samantha Salas. Diving it by Rajic. Smart shot to just push that down the line by Samantha. Yeah, did extremely well. Kept her composure when Rajic plunged to the right. Great effort from the American. Uh, TJ, I'm still a little, uh, I guess, confused in that Rasic is picking on the forehand side and uh, hasn't really tried any lob serves, you know, high lob Z down the line onto this backhand to see when, because I know your forehand is good and you're comfortable and you're confident. Let me put you in the worst position possible and if you beat me from that, then I'm just not good enough on the day. Short call, we might have an appeal. Actually, at my angle, I thought that was short as well. Alex not to. High lob Z. And a big skip from Rasic. Just seemed a little uncomfortable with Salas there. Game point for the second game. Salas took the first.
That's a tough serve. Game two goes to Samantha Salish. She goes up two games to none over Ronda Rezic. We'll take another break here. We'll be back live in about 90 seconds. Welcome back and thank you for joining us here for the LPRT quarterfinals at the United Healthcare US Open. Samantha Salas is serving to Ron Arasia. Samantha is up two games here in this quarterfinal match. She won that first game pretty, pretty handedly and that second game actually was a, a battle. That was a fun, fun game to watch. Both players seem to step it up. Should be, should be an avoid. Well, I would appeal for an avoidable, a penalty hinder. I was thinking the same thing. You have appeals, you might as well use one. I, I mean, she's clearly impeded yeah. by her opponent. I'm a little surprised, Ronda's very experienced. They have line judges, so. Well, that second game was, even though Salas took it, should give Rasich encouragement. The first one was just, we just won't talk about that from the American's perspective. The second one, I'm in this, I had opportunities, I need to continue with that momentum right. going into game three. And, and sometimes, you know, players want to make seven different adjustments when they go from one game to another. Look, you, nothing was really that different on the scoreline, except one or two. One or two rallies, one or two points. And Rhonda came back in, lob serving to Samantha's backhand. So maybe that's the one adjustment maybe you make. Some adjust yeah. And sometimes they come in, they make a lot, and then it goes downhill very, very quickly. Yes. Picking on this backhand side now in the first few rallies. Serving to the backhand, hitting to the backhand until that beautiful winner will race it.
One serving two. Just talking to herself a little bit after that short serve. There's that glass. Yes, yes. She does some weird stuff on that left side. Yeah. Like you said, it, Ron should, maybe should take some more advantage of that that glass, especially considering trying to keep the ball away from Samantha's successful forehand. Great technique from the American. Kept her body low, bent her knees, hit it flat. Earns a point. serve, set up off the back wall. Too good from Salas. Forehand down the right side, side out. Is the corner not the glass much you can do floor. with that. It's like a race which will appeal the two bounces. So there's an appeal used. It all stands. Both line judges agree that Salas did get the ball before two bounces. That's a great serve. Uh, Rhonda st actually stepped right. Samantha changed it up a little bit, blasted that serve to the left side. A little towel timeout. Of course, two more quarterfinals coming up on the LPRT later today. <laughs> Frederic Lambert against Yasmin Sabia. Canada versus Bolivia, and Paula Longoria versus Natalia Mendez. That's Mexico versus Argentina. Quite a cross section of players in these quarterfinals. Samantha was wondering if her serve was short or not. She ended up asking the Canadian head coach whether it was a good serve or not. She was looking for, for a second opinion. Yeah. Great serve. Man, what a shot. Four serving three. Back and forth we go in this third game. the example, TJ, of, of Samantha just pushing the ball back on her backhand. Wasn't a bad return, but it's not good enough for somebody who's as experienced as Lysic. Let's see if she sticks with the serve to the backhand. There's another one. Salas was hitting that harder. She was stepping into the ball. Now she's a little more hesitant. Great That's serve. A great serve. Timeout, Salas. Good timeout, Good time I think. for a timeout. We will also take a break. We'll be back here live in 45 seconds.
We're back live after a timeout. Ronda raised it serving 7-3 here in game two. Good use of a timeout by Samantha. She came in back in the court, got forced the side out. Yeah, interesting decision from Rasich. She went back to the forehand on that serve. She's won the last two points going to the backhand. She switches to the forehand, side out for Salas. Good timeout, as you said. They typically work in your favor, so you might as well use them. Ronda asking for a short serve. I, I would imagine, depending on how this rally goes, she will appeal that. And well, this is where she's Samantha, not going. Well, Samantha well, could have yes. the short serve. Yeah. Different game number three. Game number one, just a reminder, Salas in complete control. Game number two went back and forth. Either player could have won it, really. But it's the American taking charge of this third game, attacking the backhand on her serve, getting some opportunities, putting the ball away. Ronda has a 9-3 lead here in game three. Great pickup from Salas. That's just too good from Rachel. Right right. Salas shakes her head. Uh, this is a first game point for Ronda this match so far. 10 serving three. What a turnaround. I think this is what the fans want anyway. They want to see at least four games. But what happens? Race it changes it, goes to the forehand, side out. Right back now. We saw in our first match with Martinez Herrera, Herrera found a serve and just stuck with it. Got a lot of opportunities, played very well because of it. And you feel uh, from the American's perspective, if you found that serve, that little Z to the backhand, or at least anything to the backhand really, stick with that, be consistent. There were two opportunities I, I thought like you said, maybe Ronda should have hit cross court rather than keep going down the, the right side line, right back to Samantha's forehand. Race is just checking how many timeouts she has. Which that is a good idea to do because as the rules will, will say, if you call a timeout, when you don't have one, then that's a, a technical a delay one. of game, yes. minus one. So always good to ask how many timeouts you have just to be sure before you, you take one. Well, players also use that as a mini timeout by asking the referee oh, yeah. how many timeouts Oh, they do I know have. all the tricks in the book. And then I've just given myself an extra five seconds to regroup because my official now has to check. That's it. Game three goes to Ronda Regis. We're going four games. We'll be back here in live in 90 seconds. I feel like the racket belongs to my hand. Just something natural, I think. Not affecting her. She's doing such a great job. Reaching the Dream Foundation like helped me a lot to get to other places and other tournaments and get more experience.
We're back live in game four of our quarterfinal match at the United Healthcare US Open. It's been a great match so far between number three ranked player on tour, Samantha Salas, and number six ranked player, Aranda Rejic. Tough forehand winner for Salas, side out. What a turnaround from the first game where Salas was just in complete control. Second game was back and forth. Salas took it in a close one. And then Rasich raced away in game three. Both of these players in the elite group of pro ladies who have actually won events over the number one player, Paola Longoria. Rhonda, a four-time U.S. Open champion. Samantha was a finalist in the U.S. Open two years ago. As we said, not able to attend last year because of shoulder surgery. But. puts one down on the backhand side, but you could see how tentative she was hitting those balls. And even that last one, well, the pace was significantly less than her forehand side, I think that's fair to say. Great serve from Salas. This is what she wanted in this fourth game. She doesn't want a fifth game. Three serving zero. Goodness, oh. what an awkward bounce. Two, three. Let's go, Rhonda. Not considered a court hinder. Got her racket on it, just pushed it back to the front wall, side out. Three serving zero. Always remind the referee to look for the encroachment line. <laughs> Pretty sure the referee knows to look for the encroachment line. But... Well, I don't know if you could see the expression on Salas' <laughs> face, so. but it was. I hope so. <laughs> where was the camera when we needed it oh, there? I oh hope, my goodness. I hope we were on the right angle on that one because. should say, you know, it's, it's an example of how much fun it can be when you come to an LPRT event. It's great watching it online, but if you can ever make one in person, oh, just to there's watch. there's nothing better than it's so much fun. being courtside watching and a I match. have to say as well that the players are fantastic off the court. They're very friendly, engaging, and, uh, you know, my last one was, was in Kansas City, and it was so much fun just to see them off the court, engaging with them, spending time with them. They compete so hard, as you can see. We got an appeal from Salas. One disagrees, one agrees. Call stands. But but do if you're if you're anywhere near an LPRT event, go to the website, 
look for the schedule. Try and make one of these. It's, it's, it's great fun. Yes. I would say something so unique about the LPRT players. They're fierce competitors on court. And then off court, these players are hanging out together. They're friends. They, they really get along very well. They're just great people. If you're not here at the US Open, the next event for us, we're in Boston the end of October. In November, we head to Chicago for the first time. We The LPRT has a tier one event in Chicago. And after that, we'll be on back on the East Coast in Maryland, in Laurel, Maryland, right outside of Baltimore. And then we've got a pretty full schedule coming up in the spring. There's a great serve down the left side. We might see a timeout. Yeah, Salas will take her timeout. Terrific serve down the left side from Rasich. Just gliding along the wall. We'll take a break. We'll be back here live in 45 seconds. We are back. Four, serving three in game four. Ronda Rages in the service box. Oh, that is just unusual. Well, we talked about the unusual bounces. There was one, actually hit Rasic on the back of the head. Yeah. Again, changing, changing up her serve after a timeout. She did it last <laughs> time and, and uh, Again, in my advice, stick with what's working. Stick with what got you these points in the lead in game four. Second serve coming up. Looks like a drive Z to the left side. It's a very good one. Catching Rasich a little too far forward. Wide angle pass, 4-4. Four, four. Again, a good timeout, TJ. Again, winning the side out. Now a point. in a row for Salas after that timeout. He takes the lead. First to 11, win by two. Turn by Samantha. Let's get some now. Well, TJ, you saw how far Salas <laughs> ran over to hit that forehand. She yeah. was stuck on the left yes. wall trying to hit that all forehand. Backing herself all the way up. Yes. Plenty watching on in this match. It's very close back and forth. Lots of players from Mexico here supporting Salas. Of course, plenty from the USA right. supporting Rasich. Ronda, Ronda has a big fan base here in the US. Oh, yeah, that was a missed opportunity. She, has, she followed all the way around, had a set up off the back wall. 
Okay, skipped, skipped the ball. It was a good serve though that gave her the opportunity in the first place. And so let's see if she remembers that for, for next time. Not I lost the rally, but I had the opportunity. <coughs> Salas, traditional on the right side, short serve. Likes to slide the ball down on the right or go across court from that position. And then from this position, typically hits a drive Z to the left. Diving get. That was so smart of Samantha to take that ball out of the air, though. But she had Ronda on the ground. Nothing Ronda could do. Yeah, it was tough because the ball hit that glass. The glass and the wall have a different spin, right? Different texture. And so it causes the ball to change speed. You can see that one. It just almost sped up when it hit that glass. Come on, stop. Seven serving four. Might be a good time for a timeout from Rasic. She paces back and forth. Sala sticking with the team. Another skip. Wasn't a great serve, kicked out. Rasic maybe went for a little too much. Sala will stick with what's been working. Eight serving four. Switches it up, almost gets it. They're going to get a replay on This on is that a situation, one. TJ, where you have line judges. You know, Rasich is already backing up for the replay. If, if it's a straight shot to the front wall down the line or cross court and you're impeded in any way, it might be worth an appeal. Everybody's interpretation of these rules is different. And so you need basically a two, two to one ratio. On the referee says no, the two right. might disagree. Right. So it might be worth given the number of appeals you have available. Salas wanted something. I think the court hinder on the light. Or she won't appeal anything now. Right, uh, and I hope you can see her facial expressions. <laughs> you know, these players, both of them want it so fiercely. I just, uh, I see a comment here from Tony Payne about the rules. Uh, so the, both tours for many years played with uh, best out of five games, games to 11, win by two. And the IRT, the men's tour, just changed this past year, uh, the beginning of this calendar year, to two games to 15, tiebreaker to 11. Um, I will tell you, I, I tend to disagree with your comment about players giving up if they're losing. I absolutely would disagree with you. I mean, at any time, I, I never count any of these players out. Um, there are discussions about whether we will keep the same um, same scoring, um, but at this point, this is this is the LPRT rules. The players, the, and that's that's that. <laughs> but uh, for for conformity's sake, we're in discussions about it. We'll. Well, sure. we'll continue and those discussions to decide what's best for the tour, what's best for the sport. And, and that's great. It, I mean, it's important to, to recognize that things change over time right. and that, uh, you know, players change over time and may have different opinions or feelings. And even little things such as live streaming is a relatively new thing. Right. And so now we're live streaming. 
how does that affect an audience and right. who's watching and are they going to to watch this length of time or are they going to handle the towel timeouts and you know at the world championships we had some two and a half hour matches are we going to get with games two games to 15 tiebreaker to 11 exactly. still went two hours exactly yeah. and so you have to and it's great that you just keep talking and keep tinkering and trying to make it the best right. sport you can be and the right. best model that you can make it now, when you compare it to some other sports i mean you look at football you look at nfl versus college you look at different rules in tennis men's and women's it, it not every sport has a hundred percent conformity Skip ball from Raisic, Salas, fist pump from her. You can see how excited she is. She advances to the semifinals in four games over American Ronda Raisic. Great match by Samantha, well earned. Next up on this court, we've got number two player, Frederic Lambert versus our up and coming upsetter for the event. Yasmin Sapa of Bolivia. So stay tuned, we'll be back here live in about 15 minutes. Thank you all for joining us today at the US Open. Uh, we appreciate your support. We'll